Okay, so for part A, we're asked to find the hypotenuse given the other two sides. So let's create a, a function called get hypotenuse, say. And it takes in two parameters, um, which are the other two sides, A and B. And it's going to return square root of the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So A squared plus b squared. Now, to do powers, we do this double asterisk idea. So this is a squared a star star 2. And let's just test that. So we're going to print. Um, and to test it, we're going to use a well-known triangle, a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So one length is 3, the other is 4, and the other one is 5. It's called a Pythagorean triple. And so we're going to print get hypotenuse 3 and 4, and we should get 5 as our result. Try that, and oh, it doesn't know what square root is. Um, square root is included in a uh, mathematics unit, of, um, so we need to import this thing called math. Okay, so once we've done that, that math should now work, and square root is still not defined. Oh, this needs to be math dot square root math. Oops, fucking spell. Math dots. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Our solution is 5.0. Um, you might want to think, well, why is it 5.0 and not 5? Well, the answer to that is that the square root function returns a floating point number. And a floating point number of 5 is represented as 5.0. So that would be part A, so we're happy that that's working, so we can delete this code here. Let's do part B now. Um, let's just call this uh, general Pythagoras, and it's going to have the same two parameters here, but another one called is hypotenuse. Okay. Now, if we've got the hypotenuse, then um, already then we need to rearrange the formula to so we're going to say is if is hypotenuse we're using the hypotenuse then we're going to return the square root of ah now it depends on whether a is bigger than b so To do that, we could do the math of the absolute value, and that gives us. Um, no, no, let's just 